Hello my friends and hello from Addy as well. It is your online fitness coach, whatever you want to call me. Online random quoter, random dork, random blonde, guy who always films by lakes with his dog. Two big announcements today. Well, three. This is your intermediate yoga. I think I've got more requests for this video than any other kind of video because I have a lot of longer beginner ones out there. So let's take it up a notch. We'll do a nice flowing yoga class. It's not power yoga. It's not beginner yoga. It's just nestled beautifully right in that sweet center in the middle. Um, I turned 40 in one week from today. I've, I've been thinking about doing a, this is for, you know, a 40 year old's workout. I think this one qualifies beautifully. It's, it's body weight only. It's a great stretching one. We're getting some core strength, some full body oomph and goodness. And uh, the second announcement, or is this the third one, is that me, my wife, and Addie, who you just saw right there, the beast, will be moving to the mountains of Colorado in about one month. So we're leaving behind beautiful Florida. But more on that later. It's a little sad right now, but very exciting to move out west. Been planning that for quite a while now. But without further ado, let's get to your special intermediate yoga for 40 year olds or anyone else any other age but all restoration stretching flexibility and good times ah intermediate restorative restorative however you say that yoga thanks for joining me on the mat today my friends if this is something you really need take a moment subscribe to this channel like this video and leave a comment and share it on. I'm gonna put on my intermediate yoga voice now. I have a whole library of different voices, which you've probably seen in my videos, or heard rather, or you can see them. Let's start in a seated cross-legged position. Got the cap on. The cap kind of acts like a headband. It's, it's really humid out here in Florida. I like working out when it's nice and humid, so make sure you're in an area that's not too cold. It's gonna take longer for your muscles to warm up. Shoulders back and down. Let's take the fingers to the mat. Opening that chest, tucking that chin just a little bit. Want the back of the neck to be nice and long. So the top of your head is extending up towards the sky. Every move that we do, every pose, you want the best posture possible so your body works at 100%. All right, take the arms with the inhales. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Bring the arms up over the head, the fingertips brush together for just one moment, then exhale, open the chest, let the shoulders slide down the back as you exhale. I'll try to breathe as much as I can too. I'm talking, but I'll, I'll slip in a breath or two as we go. Inhale again, bring the arms up. Exhale. There we are, feel the spine lengthening. Again, lifting up, little back bend. Exhale, open, and one more time. Inhale, shoulders relax down as you pull the arms back and down, opening the chest. Take the right hand to the mat, itch the knee, and stretch up and over into a side bend. Look up to that top arm, and then inhale to the center, other side. Some nice little warm-ups for the spine. It's always a good idea to be warmed up before you do this. And again to the other side, or do it after your regular workout. Great way to cool down and stretch, restore, and renew. These are words that as yoga instructors, we always have them right on the tip of our tongues. Restore, renew, invigorate. One more time each side. Let you in on some of the secrets of the trade. All right, my friends, bring both the arms up. Reaching tall, let the fingertips come together. Look up to the sky. And then exhale, pull the arms back and down. A few shoulder rolls here. By few, I mean fear. Four. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Open the chest. Great one to do when you're sitting at your desk during the day. On a chair. Maybe you sit on a stool. That's wild. Or if you stand a lot. Great way to adjust the posture. Shoulders back and down, opening the chest. One more time. And then one at a time. Bring them back. If you've been doing my sunrise yoga, it's very popular on YouTube. Just type in beginner yoga. I think it pops right up. And you're looking for something to move on to, this would be it. Wink. One more time, each shoulder. All right, once more. Inhale, bring the arms up, looking tall. Exhale, pull the arms down. All right. Time has come to tuck in the shirt. 
let me know if I'm showing off too much shoulder today. Let's come to downward facing dog. Open. Man, that mat's dirty. I'm filming outside. This is what happens. It gets a little dirty. It's the way I like it. Rough and dirty yoga. Open those fingers wide. Open the toes. Feet hip width, arms shoulder width. Let the neck be nice and loose. And I want you to breathe into the down dog. Great way to stretch the whole body, especially your lower back and your hamstrings. So relax the neck, work the chest towards the knees. The more you can open the fingers, it takes weight off your wrists. This pose among many that are in this workout are featured in my upcoming book, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press. Put the little plug up there, sorry. I gotta do little plugs now and then, but you'll love it. Comes out April 2015. All right, one more deep breath here. Doing some slow vinyasa flows through this workout. In the power yoga workouts, we're moving, we're moving. This one just slows it down. Let's inhale forward to plank position. If you need to modify it any time, you can bring the knees down. You can take it back to child pose. You got lots of good options. I'm a little bit of a decline here, which makes it very interesting. Pull the shoulders back, press the heels back. And the elbows, turn them in. Turn them in so you activate the triceps, the triceps here, and the shoulders, and your neck is long. Again, good posture in every pose. Practice it. So when you're off the mat, you're aware of it. Every movement you do, good posture. All right, press forward slightly and lower down. Elbows hugging the sides. This is called chaturanga, or hover. And we come all the way down. Watch, take those forearms, bring them down palms flat, draw the shoulders back. The cute and cuddly baby cobra pose. Look up slightly. Great chest opener, stretching the lower back. Ah, legs are extended. And then back to downward facing dog. Press it back. There we are. Let's do our walk. Downward facing dog. One leg at a time. Bend one knee. Turn it in slightly. Get that full twist. It's just lovely. And then switch. Back and forth, a little isolation of the calves, the Achilles tendon, the hamstrings, the glutes. I feel this all the way up in my lower back, even my shoulders, that stretch. Good, four more steps. I'm watching Addie. She's just sitting there watching a bird who's watching no one. Okay. Now bring the knees down, cat cow stretch, stretching that spine, inhale, round up to cat, relax the neck, eyes to the knees or thighs, and then exhale, this is the cow, mm -hmm. look straight ahead, shoulders down, drop the stomach down, that was my cow impression, I don't usually do barnyard animal impressions, inhale again, cat, articulate the spine, think of your spine stretching from top to bottom. And with the exhale, cow. You can do this on your forearms too if you have bad wrists. Just deploy the forearms. And one more each one, rounding up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Beautiful. Looking straight ahead into the cow. All right, downward facing dog. Pressing back. Just take that right leg, bring it up. Three-legged dog. You can drop your left knee down if you want. You're welcome to open the hip, bending that knee. As you inhale, lift the knee. As you exhale, open the hip. Flex the foot to activate the calf. And work that left heel down into the mat. Stretching the arms, relax the shoulders as you stretch. And then take this right foot, bring it forward into a crescent lunge. You can drop the left knee down if you want. Right angle in the leg. Uh, fix the shirt. Hands can be on the top of the thigh. Or reach up into the tree. <laughs> Fingertips together. Shoulders back. Stretch that back leg. Inhale. Lift the arms tall. Exhale. Back bend. There we are. Keep those shoulders down. Away from the ears. Stretch that left heel down into the floor, into the mat, into the ground. All right, one more time, one more breath. And let's take a twist. Take your left hand to the floor. 
right next to the foot, reach the right arm up. Every exhale, open a little bit more. Think of rinsing out your sides, cleaning them out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're in the wilderness. It's wild yoga on the Discovery Channel. Good. One more deep inhale and exhale on the exhale. Open further. All right. Take the hands down. Let's step back to plank. Remember our plank? You'll never forget the plank. Press forward, lower down. Easy does it, easy does it. And now, you could do baby cobra again if you want with the forearms, or you could press all the way up into upward facing dog. Fingers open wide, pull the shoulders back, squeeze the glutes. Feel that stretch in the back. Shoulders down. There's a leaf on my mat. Squeeze your butt too. Activating those glute muscles takes pressure off your lower back. I've read that, I've experienced it. It works. All right, downward facing dog. Take your left leg this time, my friend. Lift it up. As we did on the other side. Lift it up, open the knee if you like, or bend the knee, open the hip rather. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Get your whole body involved. We don't isolate in these poses. We get everything working together. That's the best part of it. So concentrated, focusing on the breath. Your breath defines the pose, traces it, connects the dots. When you hit a rough spot, you breathe into it, it opens up. So is life. So is life. All right, sweep that left foot forward. We have our lunge, other side. Remember, we do everything on both sides. We balance it out, find that lunge, find that branch, fingers up. I'm gonna stretch this back leg, it's gonna push me forward, then I'm gonna use my core to pull myself back, okay? Everything's working together. Use that opposition to your advantage. There we are. Four more deep breaths. Breathe into these abdominals, into those deep abdominals. Your stomach should pooch out. When I trained as an opera singer, same kind of breath. Breathe into the abs, the sides, the lower back. Feel the lift. Feel it toning your abs. Feel it lifting your entire body from the center. One more time. Oh, nice breeze. Now take your right hand, set it on the floor the mat. You can make a fist if you like and open up. Open the chest. Keep the legs strong. Keep the foundation strong. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sorry. Oh, let's stop for a second. The chest open. Extending that right leg. Get a right angle in your left leg. Get to that point where you just, you really enjoy breathing. That sounds strange, but it really doesn't because if we don't breathe, we don't live. But the more oxygen you can pour in, the more energy, the more alertness you will have. The more alertness, yes, that word. More alert you will be. <laughs> Step back, plank position. Fingers wide. Press forward, lower down. You have baby cobra or upward facing dog, open the chest, stretch the whole front side of your body. Just beautiful. Place the knees down, press it back for a moment. Child's pose, open the hips, reach the fingers forward and draw the shoulders back. Great chance to really draw some breath into the body, into the core, into the back, which is part of the core, the lower back. Oh, sorry. Tops of the feet on the mat. Little adjustments in the spine, perhaps. I've been swimming a lot lately. Love swimming. Great cross-training exercise. So these stretches are just perfect. One more deep breath. All right. Hands and knees position. Hands right under the shoulders. Open the fingers wide. This is called, what is that on my arm? This is called balancing the cat. Do not try this with your own cat. 
trust me. Take your right leg, extend it back. I love this pose. I teach this one to everyone. If they're looking for a like a five great core poses, yoga core, this is one of them. Take your left arm forward. Now this isn't everything. You want to activate this arm pressing away. You want to extend this left arm without drawing the shoulder in. So the fingers and the toes should be as far away from each other as possible. With each inhale, lift a little bit. With each exhale, lengthen. Let's do three more breaths. And one more. I got a little surprise for you. It's called the tiger. Bend that right leg. Reach the left arm back. You can have it to your side or grab the big toe side of that foot and lift that leg up. Press it up. Stretching your quad, the top of your thigh. Bring that knee in nice and close. Find the balance, be right in the center of it. And release. Take it to a plank. Let's take the long way around. Lower down. Take your up dog or baby cobra lift. Twist side to side. And take it back. Child pose for just a moment. Tuck in the shirt, I got a phobia. And then take it forward, hands and knees position. Left leg, right arm, balance the cat. Here we go. Pull the belly button in, breathe into your belly button. Long neck, top of your head, extending forward. There we are, breathe. Down here into the diaphragm, into the sides, into your lower back. Good steady pace. And then into the tiger. Go Tigers, as my wife would say. She is an LSU grad. So I'm sorry if your school is a rival of that. No hard feelings. We can all do the tiger. We can create something based on your mascot. There we go. My university mascot was called the V-Hawk because I went to Viterbo University in La Crosse, Wisconsin. V-Hawks. I never felt like a V-Hawk. I love the school, but it's a V-Hawk. I know what a tiger is. I saw Life of Pi. <laughs> Richard Parker. I know that. Great movie. Great book. All right. I didn't write it, so I'm not going to plug it anymore. All right. Reach that foot up a little higher. We have the tiger. All right. Let's take it back. Downward facing dog. Open the fingers wide. Now bring the legs together. Let's sway side to side. Great for stretching the back, loosening up the spine. Inhale to the middle. Exhale to the side. Stretching those obliques, those muscles on your sides, part of the core. All right, one more time, each direction. All right, take that right foot up for just a moment. We're going to sweep it forward. I'm going to give you a warrior number one. Got to give you a little taste of the warrior. Instead of what we do in the um, lunge, we're actually going to pivot this foot out a little bit, the left foot, so the heel comes down, and we're going to sway and almost fall over if you're the instructor, evidently. Warrior one. Arms up, palms facing in, shoulders down, strong and powerful. Start with that foundation in the legs. Let's <sighs> get <This is> serious. <laughs> Do warrior one no matter what. And inhale, reach up, exhale, sink back. And you want to make sure you're, you're turned towards the front. You're not pivoting out to the side, right towards the front. There are many different kinds of warriors, but we want those legs to be strong. Take one more big inhale here. And we go to side angle. A little more challenging. Bend that right arm. Take the elbow to the leg. Try to take the pressure off and then take the left arm up. If you want a little more, you could extend the arm. You can also do a proud warrior option. Take the fingers down to the mat. Feels really good. Very challenging. You can do a little extension for a moment and then sink back down into it as your body acclimates. Now 
Now reverse warrior, bring the right arm up, slide the left hand down the left leg for just a moment. You get a great chance to pinwheel all the way down. Step back to plank, open the fingers wide, forward, some core strength here. Elbows into the sides, take it slow. No, 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 no. Be the hover, Danny. And then down and lift up. You got baby cobra upward facing dog. Eyes up. Shoulders back. Feel that nice natural bend in your lower back. And all that breath. All right, take it back. Left leg up for just a moment. Bring it forward. We have warrior one other side. Pivot that foot out. Try to line up the heels the best you can. Ah, there we are. Avoid the branches. There's a whole allegory. Is that the right word? Or a lesson in the branches and the poses. We'll save that for another time. Tuck in that shirt again. I have a problem. I'm going to Shirt Tuckers Anonymous. Stretch that back leg and sink back. Warrior One. Powerful. Shoulders are square to the front and they're down. So we want to avoid this. If you do this during your yoga practice, odds are, my friends, you'll do it outside your practice as well. From the biggest movements to the smallest movements. If you're a in um, professional athlete or you're just picking up a pen off the ground, your movements will be impacted so much with these poses flowed together. All right, side angle. Bend that left arm. I get to face you this time. Take the forearm onto the leg, bring the right arm up, or extend. Remember, you can also do proud warrior. Keep on going right here. Fingers down. Let's breathe. Reverse warrior, left arm up. By the power of gray skull. Reaching back, stretching the obliques, the abs, and then pinwheel down. Take it back, plank position. Let's see that slow hover. Drop the knees if you need to. Hover, elbows into the sides. Take your time. Neck is long. All body weight, all body weight, my friend. Using your body to its greatest advantage. And then Baby Cobra, upward facing dog. Just marvelous. All right, bring it back. Let's, let's hang out in down dog here for a few moments. As you inhale, lengthen the arms, lift the tailbone up. As you exhale, work the heels down. Feel that stretch rippling through your entire body. Relax the neck. Visualize it. We breathe 24 7, but we seldom do it really, really well. So increase that breath. Oh, dragonfly. Perhaps a gator will visit us too, you never know. All right, let the knees come down, my friend. Back bend and or camel. Woo! They're doing a lot of inversions, a lot of down dogs. I mean, we've been throwing in the up dogs and the baby cobras, but here is a big back bend. Let me turn on that weird diagonal here. It's called camel. If you're not ready for the camel, let me show you the first progression first. You're gonna take your hands to your lower back. Make sure the surface is nice and soft here. And just open your chest, drop the head back just slightly. I don't like to go all the way back with the head because it really pinches the back of the neck. And I just don't like that, it annoys me. It, it cuts off the flow from the brain to your body. Keep it a little bit of length, relax your jaw, open the chest, press the hips forward a little bit. For full camel, take your right hand first, bring it to your heels and then your left hand. Open the chest, five breaths. Let my stomach pooch. Don't make fun of it. There it is. Ah, uh, more breath. More breath. Think of the things you could do. Everything you can do better with more breath. More energy. Two more breaths. Okay, now bring it up. Whew. You might need a little assistance there. Dolphin pose. Great compliment. 
to the camel. Bring the forearms down, palms flat, tuck the toes, lift up. It's down dog with the forearms down. Fantastic for your arms and shoulders. Walk the feet a little further forward than they would be in down dog. And you got this extra room between your heels and the mat. In down dog, I can smush my heels down. In dolphin, I'm getting there. I do this one quite a bit. You're stretching all those vital areas in the backs of your legs that if they're tight, they will wreak absolute havoc and vengeance on your lower back. And I don't know about you, my friends, when my lower back is stiff, everything stinks. Everything just sucks. So keep it nice and loose. Head off these problems before they begin. Now flex the arms. You can bring the fingers together if you want or just keep the palms flat. Our powerful dolphin pose. Our powerful friends from the sea. All right. Bring the knees down. Camel or back bend one more time. Take it right in there. Pick your, pick your pose. Five breaths. Forty years old, huh? Perhaps you're younger, perhaps you're older, perhaps you're 40 like me. Almost 40, almost there. <laughs> this video will come out in the next couple days before I turn 40, so there you go. Alright, bring it up. Dolphin one more time, my friends. Knees down to modify. That's called a modified dolphin. How about that? Hey, Eddie. Give your spine that stretch, your lower back. knees out to the outside edges, a little child's pose. Stretch it back, my friends. Big stretch. Sway the upper body side to side. All right, let's bring it to a little forward fold here for a moment. Feet hip width apart. Let your body sink down, top of the head towards the ground. Our time goes so quickly in these sessions. I want to save some more for next time. Now let's rise up, nice and tall. I want to give you a little chair eagle combination. Feet hip width apart, pressing back into the glutes. Take the arms forward, chair pose, palms facing down. All the weight is in the heels, great for building the, the glutes and the thighs and the core. Let's remind ourselves about that good posture. Shoulders down. All right, my friends. Now moving into half eagle, take your left arm underneath the right, wrapping around. Bring the hands together. If this doesn't work, you could just make a fist and bring it against the forearm here. Fingers reaching up, shoulders down. I actually learned that little fist maneuver from my friend Dean at Man Flow Yoga. You check him out. I did a collaboration with him. Really cool guy out of Austin, Texas. Man Flow Yoga. Remember to put a little link up there for him. And shoulders down. We were talking about doing some retreats together, which would be interesting. A lot of fun. All right, full eagle. Take your right leg, wrap it around the left. Wrap it high, keep the hips square, and press back. Fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Staring at the branch. All right, switch side. Left arm out, right arm underneath. So great for opening up your shoulders and your back. Wrapping the left leg this time, fix the jump. There we go, gotta move it on. TMI, fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Breathe into it, find your focal point. And look at it with that calm determination. Pressing back a little further. Hips are square to the front. Great for relieving stress and tension in the shoulders, the eagle arms. All right, now keep these arms. Let's come on down. Oh, forward fold. Let the arms hang. Let them hang in the eagle. We'll do both sides. Don't worry. Sway a little side to side. Hi, Annie. She's doing a good job over there. And then switch the arms. Left arm underneath. Right. 
keep the stance. You can make it a little wider if you want. Let me give you this view here. How about that? And adding in a couple blistering core moves here at the end. I want you to come down. Get the mulch off your mat. I'm on a decline. This will be fun. I'm going to do half boat pose. Half boat. Here we go. Let me scooch up. Scooch. Feet out. Feet right out from the knees. Fingers, you can have them on your legs gently. You want to keep your shoulders down. Or you may take the arms forward. Palms down. There we go. Soft surface for that tailbone. You need that tailbone. It's the only tailbone you got. If you want more, full boat. Take the legs out. Five breaths. I think we're on three. Very nice, very nice. Two more deep breaths. That's four. Got some good shaking going on. Now up and over into forearm plank. Elbows are on the shoulders. I am a serious plank connoisseur. You watch my videos, you take my classes, you know that. Knees down to modify. Draw the shoulders back. Elbows are on the shoulders. Give your arms a little squeeze. Breathe into your core. Five breaths. We got two more. Just two more. Working all those muscles, shoulders, arms, core. And once more, I'll give you the other view here. Pick your boat. Half boat or full boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Say that fast. Ten times. There we go. Five deep breaths. And once more. Oh, I'm shaking on this one. Oh, man. And finish off with your forearm plank one more time. Enjoy my butt. Here we are. Ten deep breaths. I'm serious about this one. The core from, or working from the core outward. Build that fire in the center and let it travel through your body. That awareness is there, that mind-body connection. You can take it as far as you like. Five more deep breaths. And last one. All right, my friends, child's pose, pressing back. Takes three deep breaths right here. You could pause it and stay longer, but I'm going to bring us into that exciting finish here. So pause it now if you want to hang out in child's pose, breathe some more, read a book, watch some Columbo, which is my new favorite show. What did he just say? Thank you very much. The son that bothers me. I'm working on a... Colombo does yoga workout, which will definitely sweep the internet. The whole universe will be talking about that. All right, my friends, seated cross-legged position, intermediate yoga. <sighs> Good time. We got through a lot of stuff, some core stuff. Let's take the arms up over the head and side bend to the right. Reach it up and over. Look to your top arm and other side. Keep that spine nice and limber. Remember your breath. This is also, you know, your 40 years old yoga routine. <laughs> Just combining them together and celebrating the new upcoming move that we're going to the mountains of Colorado. So if you're a Colorado resident, you may see me around filming, teaching, doing my thing. Take the arms up, exhale, pull them back and down, opening that chest, finishing nice and tall, nice and strong. One more time. Palms together, my friends, as always, what an absolute pleasure it is to be able to do these poses, to breathe like this, to come together in these yoga sessions and make our lives better. Namaste. God bless, my friends. And if you like that workout, check out my online training program, Sean's Vault. Got over 40 workouts already in the vault. Those workouts are not seen anywhere but in the vault. 
with a new workout coming each week. We've got the link right up there. Check it out. It's only 15, actually $14.99 a month. You can join for one month and cancel after one month. You can join and you can download every workout. It's a little secret. But if you do that, please promise me you'll share it with everyone. You get them to sign up as well. That's all I have. And those are longer workouts. They're all like between 34 and 45 minutes. They're long, long, long. All different kinds. And watch for my book coming out soon. You can pre-order it soon. I got the web page up there for that too. Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press. Found wherever books are sold. Digital also. Digital? Is that how I say that? Digital. All right. Get the website. Sign up for the, my free e-newsletter. Stay in touch. Comment, like, share, subscribe. All that stuff. Use the hashtag SeanVeigFitness when you're posting about my workouts or anything in general like that. I'd love to see that. love to see what you're doing. Keep track of you. Keep tabs on you so you could be your very best from day to day in this life. All right, my friend. SeanVeig. SeanVeigFitness.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And um, drink a lot of water. That wasn't very exciting, was it? It should be more exciting. Like... I, I know I know where you can find a million dollars. I know where Jimmy Hoffa is. I, that's it. Bye, guys.